Last week, the Shankill community and beyond took part in a number of different beautiful and respectful memorial events to mark the 25th anniversary of the day which ripped the heart out of the Shankill community. At these events, it was clear to see that the families and the victims of the bomb, which was detonated just a short distance from where I stand now, still suffer the pain and the trauma of that day 25 years ago. On the 23rd of October 1993, nine innocent people were murdered and many were injured. Not only the people caught up in the bomb, but also the first responders, the service personnel and the amazing staff at our local hospitals, many of whom still bear the scars of that day. Two cards delivered that bomb, which prematurely exploded, killing Thomas Begley and injuring Sean Kelly. Begley is now rotting in hell, while Sean Kelly walked free from prison just a year into his life sentence, thanks to the Good Friday Agreement. While the taskmasters who ordered the bombing assembled the bomb and overseen and set the timer for 11 seconds, it was designed for the two bombers never to return. They now glorify their deaths. Taking all this into consideration, and you can imagine the shock and anger which was felt by all the victims of the IRA terrorists, that these posters were put up around Belfast, encouraging people to remember the disgusting animal who planted the bomb which killed innocent men, women, children and even an unborn child. On top of these posters, media outlets have reported the Sinn Féin IRA, who are the second largest party in Northern Ireland, have sought to justify this event. And we have seen that their party members have been in attendance today. Not only were they in attendance, but Shauna Walsh, a convicted bank robber, spoke at the event alongside Bomber Kelly. Can you imagine if elected representatives attended a memorial event for the Manchester bomber, it would simply not be allowed to happen. No matter what Sean Kelly says or anyone else, this is a blinting attempt to glorify a terrorist and to murder him and justify his actions on that day. Walsh has brought shame and disgust not just on himself, his family, the City Council, but on the whole of Northern Ireland. Sinn Féin have gotten away with glorifying terrorism in recent years, and I am sick, sore and tired of innocent victims being made to suffer even more. Is this part of their 32 county socialist Ireland? I am asking anyone who is as disgusted as I am that this representative of Belfast City Council has glorified a cowardly revolting murderer to report him to the local government commissioner for standards. I will write the details of the commissioner below. The email address is nipso, N-I-P-S-O, at nipso.org.uk or you can write to them at the Northern Ireland Local Government Commissioner for Standards, Progressive House 33, Wellington Place, Belfast, BT16HN. We must hold these animals to account.